Hi. To celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Allied victory in Europe in World War II, I've scanned the net and I found some amazingly weird stories that you're going to love. I'm starting off with the story of the Ghost Army. During the war, there was a secret division of the US Army, known as the Ghost Army, made up not from crack soldiers, but artists, engineers, actors and advertisers. A group of over 1,000 men. Their mission was to misdirect the enemy using their brains instead of big weapons. They made inflatable tanks which were painted by the artists. Audio engineers played the sounds of tanks and marching soldiers from massive speakers mounted on the top of the tanks. Actors dressed up as German generals and officers and spread disinformation and rumours. All this that led the Germans to believe they were dealing with around 30,000 troops. They managed to save tens of thousands of lives. Okay, for the next story is that of the missing children. During the war in Switzerland, Although they remained neutral, it was sought after by both the Allies and Axis powers. When Germany initiated acts of aggression against the Swiss, the UK sent reinforcements. One British company found themselves stationed in a remote village in the Alps. A few weeks after the Brits had arrived, the locals started to notice some strange incidents. Woods and tarps disappeared from sheds. Valuables were stolen from homes. It got serious when a child went missing. It was assumed that there had been a tragic accident. But more and more children disappeared. One day, one of the soldiers went missing, a Private Reginald. This led to a rumour that a monster was living in the mountains. More and more children kept going missing. One night, a dark figure was seen peering through the windows of a house as soldiers were on patrol. As the soldiers yelled, the figure took off running. They gave chase. On reaching the edge of the village, the figure appeared to jump into the ground. The soldiers found a cave hollowed into a snowdrift. When they approached, shots were fired from the cave and the soldiers returned fire. And then it all fell silent and the soldiers investigated. As they went inside, they found Private Reginald shot through the heart. He was surrounded by the half-eaten bodies of seven children. And for our last story, it's a very famous story, and it's that of the Battle of Los Angeles. A few months after Pearl Harbor, America was very on edge. Everybody was scanning the skies, worried about another Japanese attack. In fact, in February of 1942, a Japanese submarine had shelled an oil field off the coast near Santa Barbara. Later that month... Tensions exploded into hysteria, or did it? An AWOL weather balloon, so they're led to believe, had begun the panic. After that, flares were fired into the sky to illuminate some danger. People saw this as an attack, and a barrage of anti-aircraft fire lit up the night. This continued over several nights. Afterwards... There were no enemy aircraft remains found, but three lay dead through friendly fire and three people had had heart attacks. There have been claims of a mass cover-up. All of that firefight just for a weather balloon? To me, that seems a bit fishy. The government remained tight-lipped 
and an investigation took 40 years to be performed. Could this be an early UFO account? We may never know, but it's a fascinating story. So we've heard just a few of the countless stories from the war. We've had a ghost army, a cannibal and a possible UFO. 75 years on from VE Day, I'd just like to say how grateful I am for the sacrifices and for these amazing stories which we can always remember. And I'd like to say a little prayer for all those who never made it home. God bless you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.